G'day, I'm Chris and this is Game Chambers. Today we are once again playing Total War Warhammer 2 and we are going to continue our dreaded series of best of threes versus the ladder. Today I am doing Tomb Kings. Um, we're going to play three different Tomb King Lords. We've got a Kartep, a Cetra and a um, Ark in the Black list already pre-done so that I don't have to worry too much about what I'm going to select. I'm not a Tomb Kings player but this has been requested by, uh, by a member of the community and we are going to give it a go and see how we go with them. So I'm not expecting much from it but we'll see how we go. Alright so we'll just switch to Tomb King so he knows what we're doing. Let's say a bit of hello to our opponent. He's going vampires so... Of our three lists, we have Kartep ranged list, we got followers on a gash list, and we have a Cetra with all constructs. Uh, well, not all constructs, but fairly heavy on the constructs. We might go this one against the vampires, uh, maybe? I don't even know. Like I said, I don't really play Tomb Kings, so I don't even know if this is a decent list. Has our opponent said anything? Oh yeah, he has. Okay, um, what do we have on this one with our ranged? I don't think that's a good idea against vampire counts, they're just going to be able to swarm us. Um, what about this? Hex rays are not going to be real good against the vampires either, so we're going to go with our constructs. Uh, we might try and fit in some spears though, okay, how do we get a little bit more points here? Don't really need missile resist against vampire accounts. They have no missile damage to speak of. What other abilities are we sitting on here? Healing buffs us. That could be handy. So probably going to be fighting against blood knights. Um, can we just go all spears here? We can. So this will deal with the Blood Knights, Black Knights, um, Bargeis, any of the, the Tomb Kings and monstrous creatures. Can we level these up? No, one of them. Don't know how sharp are going to go against Tomb Kings. Probably terribly. The Sphinx of Usept will actually be good though, because he does fire damage, magic damage, he's anti-large. Oh, we got the... It's the Alpine Ridge, so we can't see what our opponent has to start with. Alright, let's see what we can do. So the idea with this list that I was thinking, we keep uh, Cetra and the, the, um, the big construct, the Sphinx of Usep, close by with the Necrotect. The Necrotect buffs will affect them. We have the line of spears with the Ushabdi... Um, right behind them to sort of inter intermix them with the spears so it reduces the amount of damage they take in return because the attacks will be going onto the spears. And then we can use the scorpion. The idea was to use it to dive the back line of whoever we were fighting against but we'll see what we need to use it against here. Um, okay, so this ridge is going to block our line of sight which is not going to be too bad. So I've got no ranged Vampires will have no range. It's just going to end up being a big scrum in the middle. Okay. Let's get everything back here. So we want the... We want the spears. Now, are we faster than Tomb Kings? Oh, and then Vampire Counts? I don't even know if we are. So we'll spread out a little bit. Like I said, Tomb Kings... Not one of my usual factions. But now we want to intersperse these with our spears. Them all together. And now, did I end up putting you on a chariot or on horseback? You're on a chariot. So I think you've got... So that gives damage buff to our constructs. Uh, that gives fire weakness. To everything around us, which is good for both. I oh, know, Cetra doesn't do fire damage, so these guys. I'm gonna go together, keep them in the middle. 
And the scorpion... We might put the scorpion up the top just to get us some line of sight. What do we got here? Blood Dragon Vampire Lord. So he's got the Helm of Discord, which is a pretty nasty blob fight weapon. Skeleton Warriors, Felbats, Cryptoras. White Kings are going to destroy our spear line because they've got the Scab Scrath ability. It's got to be more. There we are. Blood Knights, Blood Knights. Okay. Blood Knights off in there. They could be an issue. So they're going to kill our Ushabti quite well. They're not armor piercing though. Ushabti have got 90 armor. And where are you, Cetra? And Cetra has Nero's incantation. Which we'll be able to use. So we're just gonna dive in here. With this. Oh, Blood Dragon Vampire is coming in, so let's get these three. Get onto him. Uh, let's get protection onto the scorpion if I can get the right button. There we go. We'll try and block him up. This is set Gab Scraith, making a mess of my lines. Don't charge them in that way. Bring them around this way to try and deal with those blood knights. Okay, we didn't manage to trap the blood dragon, so let's just get into these lines. What are you? You're my chariot. We want the Sphinx come down here. So we want the Sphinx to try and get onto these Blood Knights if we can. I'm not even sure what's happening here. Okay. The Skeleton Spears bring them around this way as well. And what do we have? Is that AoE? No, that's not AoE. Does that one go AoE? No. Does that one go AoE? Nope. Okay, get on to Blood Knights. You guys just fight in there. So that's one of these, his heels going down. Let's get our Necrotech out. We'll just get the Necrotech riding through the Skeleton Warriors. Okay, Spears can just go that way to try and block the Blood Knights off. Now how's everyone doing in the middle of this scrum? I seem to be doing alright. We have lost a unit of our Yushabti Warriors. Okay, let's... Collapse in that way, no? Go this way. Okay, bring them in to support. Feasters of the Dusk. Okay, this is where we now need to put the buffs onto our Sphinx Suicept. Come on, get on to him. No, oh, okay, just get Setra into there. I don't know why I can't cast that on him. Oh, it's a missile one, whoops. That's why I can't get that on. Okay. Get onto him. Bring you guys up. Focus onto that guy. Now Necrotect. Use your heal on the Sphinx. Keep fighting those Blood Knights. You might as well fight the Blood Knights too. Try and keep that Sphinx in the fight. Get you out of there. This Blood Dragon Lord is just staying in the air. I'm not sure what his plan is. Next time he lands, we do have this ready to go onto him. Okay, Sphinx, keep chasing those Blood Knights if you can. Now, where is my Necrotect? Okay, so we can shadow this uh, Blood Dragon Lord. Is he going to come down? He's not going to come down. Kill off this White King then if we can. Oh, Blood Knight's coming in. Okay, let's go under the Blood Knights. Let's see if we can trap them in here. Get the cavalry behind them. Uh, get the Shabti behind them. He's managed to get out before the Ushabdi summoned. So we we'll kill off the White Kings then. Now what do we have here? Probably should be using my abilities. 
Okay, let's try and bring down this White King. Take that locked formation off. Where's the Blood Knights going? There they are. So we are looking a bit light on here. Balance of power is in his favour, so we're trying to kill off this. Got another heal? We do have another heal, so let's throw that down on our Sphinx. Okay, Blood Knights are coming back in, so we want them to try and get back on Tom if we can. Oh, it's just the Blood Dragon Lord coming in. He's thinking it twice. Yeah, he's having second thoughts. Okay, get to that. Alright. He had second thoughts. He doesn't want to fight Cetra. Try and save our winds of magic for the next time we fight these Blood Knights. Scorpion out of there. He's getting a bit low. Okay, can we finish off that White King? Okay, White King's dead. Let's see if we can get the other White King. I don't know. Oh no, he's not dead. Chariot, let's see if we can finish him off. That's just a construct, Cetra, and the Necrotech left. Uh, we are going to be in a little bit of trouble with these Blood Knights. Okay. Scorpion can fight them. We do want to shoot. Can we get onto these? Okay. Uh, buff his damage, buff my protections, and hit that. It's a helm of discord. Now we can't really run away. This is probably going to be the end of us here. So, oh. Yep. Didn't go too well. Yeah, this is the end of the game. The truck cannot take on that many Blood Knights, and the Sphinx of Usept is on his way out. I don't know why I've got that incantation of Righteous Smiting. I don't even have ranged units in this list, so... I uh, probably should have double-checked it all. So, we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll try and scrap this out. But I don't think we can do this. Oh, there we go. There's the shatter. Good game to my opponent. And the vampires proved to be set superior to Cetra, and it looks like Cetra will be serving the Blood Dragon Lord now. And there we are. So we get to watch him die. Oh, do we get to see him die? We can see his steed there. Okay, there's game one down. Alright, how do we do? Value-wise, Citra did alright. I don't think this is Shabti. Oh, like one of them pulled its weight. Okay, the Sphinx of Usek definitely did its job, but apart from that... Uh, yeah, Blood Knights did really well, as expected. And the White Kings, uh, they didn't do as well as I thought. And the Blood Dragon Lord did very good as well. Okay, cool. Well. It's game one down, ladder one, Alcathor zero. Let's give it another go. Found ourselves another match. Let's see who we're going to get. The Lawman, hey? Okay, we'll switch straight over to Tim King so he knows what we're playing. We'll give him a bit of a hello. And who do we have left? Kartep or Arkan? Empire. Well, we're going to go Kartep then. Um, so, do we have enough to outrange and shoot back at the Empire? Probably not, depending on what they take. We do have two Screaming Skull Catapults. We've got the Ushabti Great Bow, and we've got the Grand Horizon Kartep. So we do have a fair bit. Um, here we got Ridge. This is not a very shooting-friendly map from memory. I think it's... 
but it should be okay for Screaming Skull Catapult and the Grand Hierophant. So we'll see how it all goes. Nehekara, Nehekara Horseman to get around the back and the flanks. Eyes of the Desert and Sepulchral Stalkers to defend our, our uh, artillery line. Shoved your great bows to try and uh, snipe enemy characters, war machines, that sort of thing. So what are they range? 255, it's short, 380 and 440. So cannons will outrange us, but on this map cannons aren't going to really have good line of sight. So the arcing fire of the artillery we have is probably going to be of benefit. Uh, the spearmen, we're not going to beat Empire State troops in melee unless we go for Tomb Guard. So spears, will they got a higher defense than the regular uh, skeleton warriors so they're just going to last longer in melee and if we do end up getting charged by empire cav they do have a what is it a 14 bonus versus large to to help them out with that um that fight so still got 116 points left skeleton archers are just going to get destroyed by the empire ranged in, a, in any sort of ranged duels However, if the Empire comes in with an unbreakable front line of flagellants or something along those lines, or pistoliers, uh, fast cavalry, they might do all right against them. So we're going to keep them. Uh, Kartep. No one actually is not going to be in melee. We can't afford anything there. Just, uh, so we've got, yeah, we've got the right spell this time, so we can boost our, our range damage. So if we're getting some good shots with himself, the Great Bows, or the Screaming Skulls, we can buff that range damage. Now what am I going to do? Can we afford the Scorpion Legion with that point? We can't. There's not much we can do there. You know, it doesn't even open up anything else. So we'll just make our front line slightly more elite, boost their melee defense ever so slightly, and see how this list goes. Now the a bone giant might struggle with line of sight because I believe we have a big ridge in the middle of this one. But our other artillery should be just fine with the arcing fire. Uh, so long as we deploy correctly. Oh, no, it's not as big a. This is not the map I thought it was. This map's not too bad actually for, for line of sight. We can actually hide our arcing shot artillery behind the woods here, or even behind the woods here. Because we're going to shoot over it, and it'll mean the Empire can't shoot us back with their cannons. Uh, well, they can shoot us back, but when you fire artillery through trees, the projectiles can't hit the trees. So it'll give us a little bit of protection on any return fire. So let's just have a look. It does put us in the ditch a little bit. What is the range on your car tip if I put you here? Much the whole middle ground. But if we're going to end up in a ranged duel, the enemy is going to be back here. We need a way to bring them out. So they will reach a fair way out. Job of these is to defend the back line. Yeah. Oops, that's not what I thought I had. Wait. That's your sharp your great bows. I thought I had a bone giant. Well, that's a bit silly. Uh, shows I don't really know the faction too well. So we do want to use these bushes if we can. Empire will have the ranged advantage if they have gone that way. They will also have the cav advantage. So Empire has very good heavy cavalry. So we might even bring you back this way a little bit. We we'll probably inch forward a bit with these spears. Uh, let's make them into a group. You guys, get into that group. You get into that group. Um, eyes of the desert. Let's see, what do we got? No, get into group one. Let's get into group two. Guys, get into group three, and we'll keep you over here out of sight to protect our back lines. Uh, we can have a group, and you guys can have a group. Okay. Good luck, have fun to our opponent. 
Are we all deployed? We are. Alright, let's see what we're up against. Great cannons, great knights of the blazing sun, so... What we want to do here then, is we want to bring our artillery forward to the edge of the woods. And we want to bring our spear line up and our bows to the edge of the woods as well. Which also means we want to bring our sepulchral stalkers up to protect us. Now let's go over close, look at what we're up against. So see that cannonball's coming in. And it just hits a tree. So that's good. That's what we like to see. We got Boris Todbringer and we got a bright wizard. With burning head, most likely, yep. Flamestorm as well. And piercing bolts. Uh, actually he's got the whole every single spell. Okay. It's interesting. Okay, so turn on that. What's you shooting there? Once you guys moving up. Shabti. Start pouring fire into the bright wizard actually. Same with you guys. Start getting fire into the bright wizard. Alright, uh, if we can make that bright wizard regret his life decisions. Alright, let's see. Oh jeez, what do we got over here? Pistol ears, I missed that on the flank. The Hikara Horseman onto the pistol ears. And here we have more pistol ears coming in. Alright, let's just make a mess of Boris here. You guys drop your machine, please. And come over there. Keep moving up. Knights of the Blazing Sun. Alright. How are we doing here with Boris? Let's get some protection under these guys. Let's boost the range damage of these guys. Let me try and spread that out a little bit. Okay, what do we got happening here? Can you reman your machines yet? Not really. You can chase off after that. Okay, so the cavalry is now moving out. So let's start shooting the cav. You can turn this way. No, nope, we've dealt with that. Boris is not coming back. Okay. Did they crumble to death? They did crumble to death. Okay, that's alright. Start putting the fire on those units. Okay, so you guys protect the back line. Now, switch back onto the cannons, I think. Guys, switch under there. Now, let's get our spears up. We'll just get engaged with the Empire line up here. Where's our eyes of the desert? Come back this way. Sepultural stalkers, your job is to protect our back lines. I think they're going to get back in time. They might. Front lines engaging. Still chasing pistol ears, which is fine. Yeah, you guys get engaged there. I'd rather lose those archers than anything else I have available here on the back line. Boost their damage. Drop your machine and get out of there. They switch all of our fire onto them. Okay, how's our front line? We're not expecting much out of it, we're just trying to keep them busy. What do we have here? That's our war machine. We're gonna get it remanned. Okay, the eyes of the desert do some really nice. Uh, oh range damage, so dealing with that. Let's get these archers up. Got our artillery is back online. Start shooting that again. 
Yeah, oh, yeah, Sepulchral Stalk is back in here. And we want you guys to come up and shoot. Where's our... Did we lose your Shabti bows? We did lose your Shabti bows. Oh no, we didn't. Trying to get that into range. Where's our other Sepulchral Stalkers? And we're going to try and trap them in there with that. Oh, what are you guys shooting that way for? You're supposed to be shooting that way. Whoops. Okay, Knights of the Blazing Sun are pretty much gone. Pretty much written off. Yep, didn't you need to use those sharp tier this way. So there's... They are going to win that ranged fight, but we can move these guys up now. Can we? Actually, we can just stick here, can't we? How are we doing with the artillery? We've actually lost the frontline fight. I probably should have not gone up to there. Um, yeah, we've lost it quite badly. Okay, I really should have done something to deal with those cannons, shouldn't I? Uh, these guys have all got shields. Let's switch on to that. Man, that was a bad play as well. help them win that fight. They should be able to nuke the wizard down, yep. Okay, one cannon is retreating. This is a bit of an issue though. Oh, he's retreated. Um, I think his infantry may have actually been able to overrun my resources that I had left. Especially with the cannon support, but with the loss of his wizard, he's decided to withdraw. So Kartep gets us a win. Uh, I guess we got Boris early as well. So the eyes of the, the sepulchral stalkers and the eyes of the desert are really good at defending your back line. Now I thought I had a bone giant, and I thought I was going to use to deal with cannons, but I didn't actually have a bone giant, so I didn't have an answer to cannons. And using the Hakara horsemen to just chase the pistoliers was a terrible choice. Um, Definitely an inefficient use of those Nehekaro horsemen. Uh, everything else seemed to do okay. I don't know if that was the right choice shooting at the cannons either. May have also been a bad decision. And charging forward with those spears was also a, bar a terrible decision. I should have uh, should have played that better to try and win the ranged duel. Uh, yeah, this grenade launcher outriders completely killed the Screaming Skull catapults. I probably should have switched the stalkers onto that earlier. I thought they were pistoliers. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Cannons definitely got their value. Grenade launchers did too. Pistoliers did. Knights of the Blazing Sun, not really a whole lot of value. They kind of ran into the stalkers. and uh, The stalkers did extremely well. So these really good at defending a backline. So I think my backline defense, uh, keeping Kartep alive, was good. Overextended a lot though. Really shouldn't have overextended as much as I did. But we picked up a win, so that's one for Kartep, uh, one for Alcathor versus one for the latter. Well, let's have another go. So we've got a one last chance. This is the decider whether uh, Alcathor wins myself or whether the latter is going to knock us on the head. Uh, maybe we fall down the rungs, who knows. So we're going to pick Tomb Kings, get to our mate. Got a bit of a no name there. Uh, he could be. Uh, could be Chinese or Japanese, Korean, something like that. So characters that don't display, I guess, is probably what's happening there. Now we've only got one army left, and that's our Arkan list. Uh, against the Wood Elves, Hexwraiths may be good, or they may be terrible. It depends on 
how much magic damage he brings. So the only ranged magic units are the Deepwood Scouts with Swift Shivers to Shards and the the Wood Elf Cavalry. They're also magic damage, so we do have to watch out for those. Otherwise, Hex Wraiths are Arm Piercing, Fire, and Magic Damage, all of which are really good against the Wood Elf. So they're good against the tree units. Um, they're, well, they're good against the uh, Lost Silver Knights, I think they are, the Great Stag Knights. Um, and they're good against the War Dancers because they got the physical resist as well, the magic goes straight through. Uh, what do we got? Four shielded units. Why do we have a spearman here? I'm not sure what I'm doing there. Crypticals against wood elves. Poison could be nice, but I don't know if I want them. I'll take them out. The bats and the wolves will be really handy to chase them down. But let's swap out the wolves. Um, we might grab another spear. So we've got the two spear units, and then can we grab some more cavalry? I was going to go looking for black knights, but we don't have black knights. Obviously, we're not. We're not actually playing vampire counts. We're playing tomb kings. Um, we can go with the Nakahara horsemen. How many can we get? We get three. We get two, and a skeleton horseman. Give us all. We could get another spearman. So that gives us a lot of cavalry, which is pretty good against the wood elves. We just want to rush in on them if we can. Uh, what have we got on Arkan? So we've got his curse, got life leeching, his buff, Liber, Liber Mortis, Purple Sun. I want to get a Purple Sun off. Um, Fate of Buna against Wood Elves. I don't know, I've not tried it. It could be a good way to delete warm, um, Way Watchers. I want to do Purple Sun though, that's a lot more fun. Uh, minus 30 armor, minus 30% base damage. And causing terror. We have terror causing in the list already. Okay. So we could still pick up another Skeleton Horseman, or could we pick up King Nakash's Scorpion Legion? Or pick up some Tomb Guard. Actually, are they still silver shielded? They are. Tim Guard with Halberds? No, we can't. We can't really upgrade our front line that far. Okay, so it gives us three. We can go more spears. And then let's just upgrade the spear line. Okay. Okay, let him know that we're ready. I don't know if he, he might not even speak English. Um, we are playing at around, well, at lunchtime in uh, Eastern Australia time, which would line up with lunchtime in a lot of the Asian countries, or I think late at night over in the US and the UK. Okay, so he's ready up. Let's see how we go. Let's see if Arkin can bring us to a win versus a ladder, or are we going to get crushed again? We will find out shortly. So, Athel Tamara. Big row of trees down the middle and a nice raised bit of terrain down on the side here. Now the trees gives the wood elves a nice advantage. Don't know how much the high ground will help us out. Let's see. Ah, oh, that's right, this one. We do want the high ground then. It will make it difficult to fall archers to get line of sight. It will also make it hard for us to chase archers, but we do have the four bats. Uh, what we want to do is hold the bats until we actually engage, because it's easy to throw your bats in early and then you just lose them uh, to focus fire before you get to get engaged in the fight. Okay, let's get our spear line up here. We're going to come this way. We're going to take the fight up here or around here. We don't really want to fight through these trees against wood elves. So if we can, if we can anchor off this or even sort of form the Force the fight over this side, that will be ideal. Um, now we don't really have... So our Hex Wraiths... Do we want to bring them right in the back? Oh, we probably do. We don't really want them to get caught... Um, caught by fast cavalry. That would be terrible for them. We're going to split these... into two separate groups group of bats there, 
group of bats over here. Arkan. So I didn't set them as a group. These chariots, we're going to have as a group. An Arkan riding by yourself. So these are ranged chariots. I uh, don't really want them to go into those forest if we can help it. Keep them over here. Head them out. Decent enough armor. So I think you might be able to read what we're typing. I just will keep the uh, polite decorum going. I, I don't know if you can't read or if you can't type it, but we'll. Um... All right, what are we up against? Sisters of Twilight, and he is in the woods. So what we want to do then is try and bring ourselves up and above the woods. Send them in to scout a bit. And we'll bring these guys over here. Bring these guys over here. I'm in for a melee fight, are you, sisters? Okay, Waystalker in the middle there. If we can get our spears up to the top of that hill, that will be nice. I'm not expecting much here, but I was hoping we'd get we'd reveal something more. Uh, Sisters of Twilight should win that fight. He's going to hide in the woods by the looks of this. I see war dancers with Azrae's spears in there. There they are. There's the fast cavalry. They have got magic damage. High bank tip. Glade Riders. And there is our Waystalker. I don't think he... No, he does have magic damage as well. Okay, so we've got a lot of kiting over here. He could be coming to chase after us, so let's get our well, cavalry. Let's bring you guys over that way, and let's get Arkan over this way. So we're getting some nice damage. I'm assuming that he's got a Lore of Life caster, but we haven't seen it yet. Well, let's just go forward then. Get these hex race at the back. All right, what do we got? Eternal guard. Okay, so we're just going to chase these down with spears. These three spear units. Alright, so you guys are no longer in the main group. I just want you chasing after Glade Riders. You guys form up here. You're taking damage. Come back. Now they will be able to catch the Glade Riders, but they will get shot. So let's not do that, guys. The chariots will be able to put some damage on them. Let's see if we can deal with these skirmishes first before we get too deep into the woods. We have put some nice damage on her there. We killed a single model, killed a few models actually. So the chariots are doing okay. You've just been wiped out. That's just my bats. That's okay. Spirit Leech on him. Move him back. Force him to come in if we can. Okay, well, we got War Dancers. So, Sisters of Twilight haven't been healed. Does that mean he doesn't have healing? Okay, so here comes the Eternal Guard. Where are these guys? Let's bring them out. We got Ariel. Okay, we don't want that fight. Let's come in here. This is going to be a nice cast for that. Okay, 
Okay, get these bats under these guys. And you guys shoot up there. Hex race. Come around this way. Keep putting the pressure on up there. Arkin, come back out. Put a spirit leech on to the sisters. What do we got here? War dancers with Azrae spears. Yep, happily throw those spears into that. He's trying to get me with a awakening of the woods there. Okay, Arkin. Where is your skeleton warriors? Get them on the flank and then get out of there. Might as well chase after you actually. we're doing too well. This front line is collapsing in a lot of ways. Let's try and crumple the front before we get too deep into the back. Did you guys go in? Yep. Bats keep chasing there. You move around that way. Yeah. Chariots come back. Hex race come back out. Get onto Ariel if you can. Arkin. Probably should have been using this. Got stuff in the gash. Get him into combat. Okay. Get into combat over here, please. The Hikara horsemen. Get those war dancers. Have I got any bats left? Or it's just the one unit of bats, just the one unit. Okay, Hex Wraith. I want you guys to come down here. This Azrae Spear War Dance is going to be a bit of a pain. We got a Spirit Leech up? We do. Where are you? Come out. Those, um,. Missile fire is doing quite well. So we've broken her. Now it's just a matter of being able to keep chasing her. Ariel's doing really well in combat here. Okay, so we didn't manage to chase her off, which is a bit unfortunate. Okay, get Arkin moving again. We are running out of models. Ariel is really... I guess that magic damage... Yeah, magic damage is getting her to destroy the Hex Wraith. That was a bad decision. That's definitely on me. I just chase that. Yep, come out of there. Yeah, this is pretty much over. Alright. Oops, didn't mean to open that window. Okay, if we can get Arkin into combat again, we might be able to get a skeleton summon. I don't think it's going to be enough. We've still got this waste stalker back there. Yep, yeah, his Arkin's gone. Just got dumpstered there by the sisters. And we've tried. Tim King's made their best efforts. Um, but they have a valiant defeat. I think I could have played that better. I made the mistake of throwing the Hex Race into Ariel. Uh, I should have realised she had magic damage. She is... I mean, she's... Yeah, she did a lot of work there. The sisters also did a lot of work. Um... Berry Wine, managed to heal them back up to full, essentially. Uh, if I'd have kept the bats in reserve a bit better, I could have made sure I had enough bats to chase them off the field when they fled, before the Berry Wine healed them. Uh, the Hagbane tips did really well. They weren't... I think 
They didn't do what they wanted to do, which was to probably kill the Hex Race, but I threw the Hex Race against Ariel anyway, which was a terrible decision. I was really happy with the Chariots, so they've done quite well, definitely made their value back. Uh, and they had Car Horsemen, I kind of just threw in there at the end against the, um, the War Dancers with Azrae Spears, which was probably a terrible idea. Yeah, all in all, I think with a bit of more experience with the Tomb Kings, that, that was probably a winnable match. Uh, just not familiar enough with what I had the tools for. Definitely not familiar with Ark, and uh, that's a bit unfortunate. I would have liked to... I mean, I did get to drop a Purple Sun, which was great. I've been wanting to do that for a little while now. And then I forgot to watch it, so if you manage to see it out of the corner of your eyes, that's pretty good. But otherwise, looks like the ladder has defeated us once more. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.